All right, this section is about properties of numbers. We're going to discuss it. You don't actually have to take notes on this section because it should be all things that you've covered uh, multiple times in math classes. But since it's here and it's important that everyone knows it, we'll want to go through it quickly just to make sure that you've seen all these things. So first definition, equivalent expressions. These are just two or more expressions that have the same value if you evaluate them. So it just basically means there's two things written in different ways. So for example, 3x plus 5x is an equivalent expression to 8x. So if you evaluate them, they come up to be the same value. Even if you don't know what that value is, they are still equivalent to each other. Okay, multiplicative identity. If you multiply any number by 1, you get back the same number. Now that should be common sense, uh, but it has a special title, multiplicative identity. Multiplicative property of 0. Any number times 0 equals 0. Again, this should be common sense, something you've learned many times. If you multiply something by 0, anything by 0, you get back 0. A couple more here. Multiplicative inverse. So another word for a multiplicative inverse is the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is the number that you multiply by to get 1. This is not a minus sign. Let me make that an arrow. So the number you multiply to get 1. So if you have a 5, the multiplicative inverse is 1 fifth. Um, basically, you just flip the numerator and the denominator. Uh, and that's all you have to do to get the multiplicative inverse. The inverse of 2 thirds, for example, is 3 halves. Okay, commutative property. To commute things is to change the order. So the commutative property is the fact that the order for multiplying or adding a set of numbers does not matter. 3 times 2 equals 2 times 3, and, and any other numbers. Typically, if you have variables, you want to write the variable at the end and the number at the front. So if you have x times 3, um, it's better to write that as 3x, or 3 times x. The order doesn't matter, though. They are mathematically equal. And lastly, the associative property. If you multiply or add, any subgroup of numbers can be grouped, which basically means, uh, let me just show it, 1 plus 2 plus 3. You could put parentheses here and add the 1 and the 2 first, and then the 3. Or you could subgroup the 2 and the 3 first. And so this goes back to what I was saying when we were doing PEMDAS. I said, with multiplication and division, if that's all you have is multiplication and division, you can do them in any order. Or if all you have is addition and subtraction, likewise, you can do them in any order. The reason this associative property only refers to multiplication or adding is because division is just multiplication by fractions, and subtraction is just adding negatives. So really, there's only two fundamental properties here. And if you're only dealing with one or the other, then you can mix the order up. All right, that's it for this video. Um, I hope it's all things you knew, but if not, ask questions in class.